Hi everyone, it's Lulu and today I am going to do wand curls on my Curls Curls Clip-Ins. You've seen them a couple of times before and the last time we did a braid out. So in the spirit of versatility, I decided, well I asked you guys and you decided that we were going to do heat this time. Switch things up and see how the clip-ins manage. So this video is sponsored by Curls Curls and I'm using my Aromas anti-hair loss shampoo to wash them. Not that they need an anti-hair loss shampoo, but because it was the one that was closest to me. And I like the shampoo. It's very softening. I figured it would be good for these clip-ins. It lathers nicely and it just works well. I'm making sure I get in there, make sure everything is nice and clean because I'm heat styling and you need your hair to pretty much be stripped. Also I'm getting to the roots, the fake roots, where the clips are, the top of the weft, and making sure everything is nice and clean. I don't want to put dirty hair on my hair and I want it to be easy to style and maintain. After 30 minutes of allowing the towel to soak up the excess moisture, I am going to put my clip-ins on my wig cap. About four or five years ago, I was going crazy all over YouTube trying every single style of wig cap, braided wig cap that is, by Freetress. I think Vivica Fox was the first brand I saw come out with these. But yeah, I went crazy over them. So I'll link the videos down below. And I'm using my Entwine leave-in conditioner to prep my hair. I'm also going to use a little bit of oil. I probably shouldn't but I tend to do this and it works well with my kinky clip-ins so I'm gonna do it again. And I'm going to put my hair in bantu knots to section the hair off, make it easier for me to manage and get through each section. It's like every time I get through a section I'm like yes one step closer to the end. So it is a mood and morale booster when I put my hair in sections because I kind of know where I came from and I know where I'm heading and I know approximately how much time I have left until I get to the end. So after putting my hair in clip-ins, I went ahead and used my Tresemme heat protection spray. I think just about everybody has tried this at some point. And I'm combing my hair with my Pattern Beauty comb, which is excellent by the way. My hair was not shedding when I used the comb, but when I used the comb attachment for the blow dryer, it made my hair shed. So I recommend if you do have kinky clip-ins, don't use a comb attachment for your blow dryer. Just go ahead and comb with a wide toothed comb and then tension blow dry your hair. That way you can keep your hair longer and you won't damage it because this is an investment. It does cost money and I want you to get your money's worth. So this is my shedding and that's all from blow drying. Make sure you do a tension blowout if you are heat styling kinky hair extensions. And I am going to go ahead and clip my African hair threading sections in the front, the ones that are in the very front. The rest I just kind of did, however, I really didn't care about how my hair looked underneath because I knew it was going to be so voluminous and nobody would notice that there was a lot of bulkiness going under there. But my order of clip-ins was 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 2, 2, 2, I think. And I had an extra 2 and 3 left over. This is what we're looking like. See, I thought I was going to have a leave out, right? So I went ahead and removed my African hair threading sections in the front, not realizing that my hair is still darker than the clip-ins. My hair is always darker than the hair extensions, but it looked kind of cute. But I figured, you know what, my hair is too dark. Maybe next time I'll dye the hair black so it can match my natural hair color. But what I did was just tie my hair down and use a little bit of edge control by Lovely Bees and put a headband. And this headband is by Swirly Curly. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. And I'm separating my hair into sections so that I can wand curl it easily. All I did was use one of the smaller barrels of my Irresistible Me wand curler. It's starting to get old, like the temperature controls aren't consistent anymore, but I still use it because I don't care. But yeah, it's gonna need replacement at some point. It still works, but it's old. I've had it for too long, so at some point I'll have to find something better. I burnt myself and I'm gonna go ahead and curl the remainder of my hair. All I did was wrap around and wait like a few seconds before releasing my hair. I didn't want something too tight. I wanted some curls that were defined but a little bit fluffy at the same time so that I wouldn't have too sleek of a look 
because these are kinky extensions. You know, when dealing with kinkier hair, I like it to be a little bit more fluffy. I feel like it looks better. I don't know, you guys. Let me know what do you think looks better with kinky extensions. You want it super sleek or do you want it kind of fluffy? And I'm separating now. Separating does not take long at all. At all, at all. Seriously guys, it is such an easy thing to do. The hair is easy to work with and I mentioned previously when comparing it to the other brands that I've used, it's better when you consider price and performance. I told you guys about better length, something happened to the clip-ins, it's like they became defective. I don't know, it's like they melted almost and I was like, what is going on? So I haven't had any issues like that with Curls Curls yet. I haven't really had problems. Even combing is easy, washing is easy, everything. The clip-ins still look good, so, so far, so good. Of course, they're not a year old yet, so I can't say much, but I do wear them every so often for like three to four days at a time, and then I remove them, and that's the benefit of me having the African hair threading sections in the back. I can clip loosely on those sections, and I won't damage my hair at the roots, so I can sleep in these. I don't recommend that you sleep in your clip-ins, but I can do it because of how I prep my hair underneath. And I've never had any problems as far as shedding goes. My shedding is still the same on wash day, so I don't have that problem. But I wouldn't tell you to wear clip-ins every single day through the night and all of that because they can be damaging on some people's hair. So do what your hair allows you to do. I am getting a little bit of volume here and I'm gonna keep separating until I get it nice and super fluffy and I'm very pleased with the results. They look good. I do live in Georgia. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, within two days, the humidity got to these and I should have taken pictures. Maybe next time, because I will be showing you guys hair extensions that I've previously used. So that's all there is for this video. Thank you so much Curls Curls for sponsoring it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please continue to take good care of yourselves and I will catch you in the community tab.